This will be a very quick lesson on completing the square. Before we start, let me show you something you are familiar with. Given this expression, you should know how to expand it to this format. If I were to rearrange a little bit, this is what you will see. This plus 4, I'm going to shift it over here. So what I'll have is... Okay, I'm going to do the same to this expression. I'm going to bring this plus 9 and shift it over here. Now, what you see here is called completing the square. I am now going to give you a general formula. In general, you can use this formula to complete the square. As you can see, whatever number appeared here becomes halved here. Whatever number appeared here became halved here. Hence, whatever number appeared here, which is k, will appear halved here. Okay, let me show you two examples. First example, this is what you see. If you were to compare, you will see that the value of k is 10. So applying this formula, I will have x plus k, which is 10, over 2 square, minus k, which is 10, over 2 square. Now, as for this number, we shall just attach it, append it to the back. Right? So if we simplify this, 10 over 2 is 5. 10 over 2 is 5. 5 squared is 25. So the expression after completing the square looks like this. Second example is this expression. Again, let's make a comparison. The number k here is negative 2. Please be careful of the negative. k is negative 2. So if I were to apply the formula, this formula, k is negative 2. So over 2 square minus k is negative 2 over 2 square. And again, this number, we shall just attach to the back or just append it to the back. Now we simplify this expression. Minus 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Negative 1, whole thing squared, become positive 1. Hence, my final expression after completing the square is this. Simple? Here are some exercises for you to try. Please pause the screen now while you are trying. Continue playing later to reveal the answers. These are the answers. Hope you got them right.